welcome back everybody i hope everybody's having themselves a great day night or whatever time you are watching this so i'm a little excited right now because of what we have gotten right here now i know i'm a little late to the party on this and i apologize for that but we are going to be checking out today godzilla from godzilla king of the monsters the original movie from 1954 hopefully i said the right year I'd be a little embarrassed if I didn't. Um, as y'all know, if or if you are new to the channel and do not know, I do not read off scripts or anything else. Everything I say comes off of the top of my head at the at the right time. So I hope everybody's um, got them a drink, a snack, or anything to um, enjoy the video with. So other than that, let's go on and get into the video. But before we do, I, I'm sorry for this, but before I look at the what we are going to see, I pulled out my original Godzilla. And if you do hear some pitter pattering in the background, I'm dog setting right now. But I decided since this is going to be a an accurate version of the G, the original G-Man suit. Um, I want to just pull this out and just kind of pair this to what we are going to be seeing. So we know like if they change something or if the, um, art, the articulation looks a little bit different. But as far as I know, it probably is the same figure. So all the movement on the tail, arms, legs should be the same. But we don't know. Sometimes they could change something or just the small details could change so i'm sorry for that so let's go on and check these this figure out all right so we got the godzilla figure right here and now yes this is a colored version of godzilla so it will be a lot different than what we got right here because this is from the film but there probably is a colored um, version of the film out there. If there is, let me know, because I have not seen it. But, um, but yes, yeah, so far as we can see, this is meant to be accurate to what the suit looked like and in person. So let's um, look at what we got. So, so far, at all the... Um, joints everything that so far I can see matches like what I see on the original figure right here as um yeah I had to look a second time at the knees does the knee look a little like something was a little different but it's not it's just the red right here and I don't know if it's if y'all can notice this or not but it's like has this like reddish tint to it or that's a brown tent. Hopefully we get to see it a little bit better in another um, picture. Because um, it could be just the lighting. Because you can see the lighting's coming from like the top right here. Coming down. But I do like this background. That purple with the light gray right here. Or that bluish um, fog color. Looks kind of cool right there actually. So right here we have a full body picture of what we just saw where we get to see the toes or the claws right here now yes th these are uh like a bone color just like the teeth and the back plate so that is a definitely di um difference than what's right here because this is from the film it's black and white so this is just a gray and black figure and that, so looking at um, the color difference will not help out on on this, um, sadly to say. But looking at the joints and stuff, now I get to see the feet a little bit better. Everything does matches like right here. I don't know if y'all can see. I'll point it out. Like right here above the foot, there's this little um, spot right here or floating piece. And this Godzilla figure, does, does he have it? Yes, he does have it. It was just a little bit harder to see right here. So yeah, everything's it's basically the same figure, just um, paint it different. And we got okay, so now we get the sit. So this is like a red. It looks red to me, but if y'all think it looks brown, let me know. 
says, I mean, I could be looking at this totally different. We got the teeth, the tongue. Looks great. The hands. Now, as far as I know, we are supposed to get a second pair of hands. But so far, let me go back for a second. Open hand, open hand. Open hand. So we have not seen nothing different yet. Tail is up and mine can do that as well. So I don't know why I keep looking at mine. It's just the same figure, just paint it. And uh, okay, so here's our first accessory shown, and that is a fighter jet. We got the stand right here for it. And I kind of like that. I kind of wish the original wood came with something, but sadly this was just by itself but i am okay with that and um okay here's the next accessory we got the flame that he comes with or the atomic breath but i think in the movie they called it a like a flame flower i know i probably butchered it i can't for some reason i can't get that word right flame thrower Th sorry about that i tried to at least give you all a second chance to hear um, to say it, but uh, right here, it does kind of looks nice right here, and we do, so what, the, will we get two stands is my question with this, so, and we do get a base, so I kind of like that, that's kind of nice, we get the 70 anniversary, hopefully I did say that right, for this, we got Godzilla right here, I wonder will we get a chance to see a little bit better on um, picture of that, but I do like the pose. We got him in a victory like pose. I want to. I'm calling it that because I, he's on the stand. It's like a victory pose, but it could be just its base stand in there. Okay, so we do actually get a uh, better look at everything. So we get two fighter jets. We got this small piece. We got the hand. So we do get extra hands, but one hand looks about just the same as the other and with the being like right here but this hand right here is more closed if y'all can see this because the claw tips are basically touching and this one ain't let's um let's go back real quick maybe we missed something no hands are still open open hands yeah none of these photos right here they did not use the accessory whatsoever of the hands. It's kind of messed up. But, um, but yet, um, so, okay, we, we do actually get to see the accessory, but we don't see it. It's on here, but we don't really see it because of the atomic breath right here is, um, hiding the hand, holding the fighter. We got this one right here. Now, this picture right here looks um, cool. It's the post. I believe this is meant to be the poster right here. We're just missing the people running. Dixon! Sorry about that. She was getting into something that she shouldn't have. Good girl. So, um, back to... Back to this. I'm sorry about that. So everything looks great right here. We got, the, like I just said, the background just looks nice. And hey, they actually used the um, background that they were just showing right here. Oh, no, like right up here behind them. Right here. That's kind of neat with the purple, the, bl the blue right here. That's kind of nice. They reused that. So do, is there another picture? Nope. So we went through all the pictures. So what all are we looking at? We are looking at $120 for this figure. Now, I don't know about all of y'all because I got mine at a um, comic book store and they
All right, sorry about that. Something came up. Um, my camera just turned itself off by itself for some reason. But um, like I was saying, I got mine at a comic book store. And I believe I paid about this price for, for this figure. But um, at the time, I really was not going to do that. But um, I'll tell you all about that here in a second. So let's scroll down. So he is going to be standing at 5.91 um, inches or 15 centimeters. That's about the same size. All right, sorry about that. Like, uh, I'm for some reason, I'm having some um, camera issues or something's going on that it's like turning itself on and off. So I'm going to try and be quick. So we're looking at the same all right, so the camera wants to keep acting up and everything, turning on and off for some odd reason it's doing that. So um, where was I? Oh, yes, yeah, so we were talking about the size. So it's going to be the same size as the one right here, but that is um, going to be common. Wait a minute. The, there we go. So um, we're looking at everything right here. We are getting the figure, the extra hands, the jets. And everything else. Well, it calls it two planes right here, but we all know they're the fighter jets. So we're going to go on and put it back like right here for uh, for us to talk. So far, the camera's working fine, but um, like I was saying earlier, I got mine at a um, comic book store. I was, um, I'm going to tell you all how I ended up getting this. <laughs> so this was actually my first SH Monster Arts figure. So what happened was, I, we, me and my niece walked in there. I was just looking at some comics and um, looking at some statues and some other stuff that they had. They had a Godzilla um, shelf or section, I should say, because it was more than just this. So I was looking at that. My niece ended up seeing this right here on one of those little small um, short tables that has like some figures and other stuff on it. So she was trying to get it to, to bring to me while I was talking to one of the employees. And what happened was when it fell off the box, it like her fingernail was like on this box, it had those three claw marks. So her fingernail got caught on one of the pieces and when it fell, it ripped the box and it like just tore off like just the, um, like just the paper part off of the box. But it was about this big and the lady was just gonna let it just slide and just say, Oh, well, we'll just say that it just fell because that's what it did. And, but we couldn't do that because the manager actually saw what happened. And he got up in my face and I, he said, well, we know it was an accident, but do you want us to get security to, th to get extra y'all out of the store? Now, Grant, we were in a mall. So when he said extort us out of the store, he wasn't talking about just his store. He was talking about the entire mall. So I had two choices, get thrown out of the mall or pay for the figure or there was option B. And option B came really close because the person was nose to nose with me, fussing in my face and turning all bright red and everything. And it'd be just like, how Kong and the other ape was. The ape was in his face and he just knocked him out and I came close doing that. But I was not going to. I told him, let me call somebody. I called, made sure everything was fine for me to do it. And I, and that is how I ended up getting this figure. So only family and everything else knew about this. And so now I have shared that with y'all, how I actually got my very first SH Monster Arts figure. And this is where everything started off like slowly going and everything for the Monster, um, not Monster Verse, the um, SH Monster Arts line was um, started by this guy. And the second one I ended up picking up was the 2019 Godzilla. And then after that one, that's when everything really started going. But, um, but yeah, that's one thing I will never forget is when I picked this guy up out of the store because that was the only one I actually bought out of the store. Every other one I've ordered from Big Bad Toy Store and I have not regretted anything since.
But yeah, if y'all have any interesting stories or how y'all got into collecting figures or anything like that, share it in the comments. As I, I would love to read them and see what y'all said and everything else. But I know the video has probably gotten a little bit long and everything. So I'm going to go and end it here. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see everybody next time.